But we are starting this hour at 9.01 with uh, a very special guest who's in the studio with us, former Manchester United and France fullback Patrice Evra is here. Yes, we are super excited to have you here. Welcome. We want to hear all about this app that you've launched called Player. Now it's alongside co-founder Tommy Fish. Really good to have you on the show Thanks as well, Tommy. Tommy. Thanks for joining us. Now this app aims to help young footballers navigate their careers. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, I mean, if you break it down, it's basically like a, a LinkedIn for footballers. You know, player profiles, club history, stats, video content, a place where they can network with each other, with coaches, with scouts, with agents, and basically get the, the visibility and recognition that they deserve. Patrice, you're excited about it? What was the sort of idea behind it all? No, I'm really excited because it's at the end is helping the, the community, you know. Uh, of course, it's for player, they make it, but also some player, they get released. Like I didn't get that chance, you know, when I was uh, 17 and I didn't do any academy uh, football club. So it's from the street to the to the top. But we, we, they're going to have a lot of visibility, like Tommy said. They, they will put their highlight, they will put uh, their start. We do also already done like some showcase, like for women and, and, and men and 20 scouts. So four of the players already find a, a, a team. So I, I, I feel blessed. I feel blessed because especially when you've been successful all your career and you can uh, help other kids, this mm. is just amazing. It can be quite a lonely life, can't it? Lonely being a footballer. I mean, you do a lot of travelling around. Boring. <laughs> Can be so. I mean, you a, no. see a lot of players struggle, don't they, with the, with having all that time. But in the but afternoon. but of but of course, I think you say it right. Like people don't realize, and it's when you retire, and sometimes you know when I do some charity game, and then you you like for example the soccer, then you have to stay three days in the hotel, and I'm like I don't want to do that anymore. Mm. So you you quite like lots of lonely time in your home in your room before the game, traveling a lot in the hotel, being away from your family. Mm. That's why, you know, a lot of players start to come out and talking about the mental health and all of that. It's, it's quite tough. No matter the money you, you earn, you, you quite, you're quite lonely on you. And especially when you have a bad performance, you know, it's down to you. Sometimes, like, some, some player will help you to, you know, to, to head back, but mm. it's quite tough. Yeah, you're just sitting alone with your thoughts after, like you say, like what could be a bad performance. So this is really important for young players, but not just young players. The app's going to also help uh, sporting directors, agents and scouts as well. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're doing a lot of work with various clubs at the moment. Some of it is kind of confidential because you have players that through us are now on watch lists and scouting lists, and obviously we can't, we can't name them, all the, all the clubs. Um, and then we have players who maybe, like Pat mentioned, have been released from an academy and have found that we've helped them find their feet, um, be it in the non-league or lower leagues. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's working already and that's, that's before we'd even launched. Mm. For, for young players, there's an arm of it, I'm reading here, that's uh, to help young footballers away from the game mm. as well. So how's, how's that work? Yeah, so player XP, that's where we go into academies. So tomorrow, for example, we're going to West Ham. Um, and we're coaching these young players how to build something simultaneously off the pitch. Because whether you're, say, Cole Palmer or Patrice Evra mm. or a young player at West Ham who may or may not make it there, the sooner you start building something off the pitch, the better, because you're going to need to do it sure. at some stage. Yeah, I was going to ask that, Patrice. It, c can it also be beneficial for a player who's already successful, like a Cole Palmer, for example? Yeah, you know, but definitely. Like, uh... As a, even a retired player, I, I didn't have any, my, any of my memories. I would love to just go in an app and see, you know, all, all my, my highlight. And uh, like Tommy said, you can also interact, you know, with the young player. Imagine like a young player scoring a screamer and, for example, Cole Palmer, like commenting and saying, like, what a wonderful goal. Yeah. You see how important it is for, for those young players to be inspired. So it's like just engage with your, your fan, uh, with your your other your ex teammate, so it's a it's a, it's a great app. Not just because it's all app. It's <laughs> app Do you wish you'd had it when you? Were yes, back? I wish I wish I had it because, uh, like I said, now if I want to see any of my highlights, yeah, I will have to to call uh, Man United or Juventus or the French national team. But yeah, I, I I wish I had it, but. I had a successful career, mm. so I don't know if it will change, you know, the trajectory, mm. but it will definitely give more visibility. Mm. We're talking about an app for young players. Patrice, you, you must be pleased with some of the talent that's come through, young talent through your uh, former club, Manchester United. We're looking at Kobe, Garnacho, oh. Ahmed. You know, what, what do you make of these young guys? I'm proud of, the, uh, I'm proud of them. Uh, I had a chat with, uh, with Kobe and, uh, and said, wow, well, keep doing what you're doing. I think uh, this, is, this is United. 
uh, back in the day, we were talking about uh, Nicky Bird, Gary Neville, Giggs, Coles. And, and now to see, we, we still got that, even if, you know, the first team results are not great. But I think this is the positive side, seeing those young players coming and playing with no fear. I, I feel like when I see Ganacho and, and Maino having the United DNA, mm. and that's what we want to see. Mm. What about the gaffer? <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. <laughs> it was a pleasure, guys. He's off. <laughs> oh, he's, um, it's tough, it's tough. I think like people keep talking about Tena going being sacked or no. At the end, uh, the, the, it feels like he got the support for, from the Enos. Uh, we're going to have like two tough games, uh, Porto away, Aston Villa. Mm. And we're going to keep saying, oh, if he lose those two games, he's going to get sacked. But from uh, experience, every time when he had that game, you know, when we're going to say he's going to get sacked, he always win them, so I'm not worried. Mm. I'm not worried. You love United so much, and, and I saw you when we, just before you came on. You know, you were watching us with the stats, and we were talking about what they're going through. <laughs> Is it difficult to watch at this period? But of course, I think yeah, it's hard. You know, it's hard. That's why sometimes uh, some commentator you see they're really harsh, but because people are frustrated. You know, when you when you love your club so much and you get disappointed by by some uh, performance. Of course, that's why sometimes I remember even when I was working for Sky, I was like begging to not commentating any game for Man, mm. for Man United when, when he was that, that five uh, nil lost against Tottenham. Mm. And you can see my face on TV, I couldn't hide my feeling. Yeah. You know, no matter if you, you, know, you work for Sky and you need to be neutral when your, your club not, not performing well, of course he hurt. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. I mean, you've, you've already said that you think he, he, he can turn it around this season. Like, the combination of the young players coming through and, and, and he, when he's under a bit of pressure. He's, he's, I mean, the FA Cup final last season, I suppose, was the best example of when you're under severe pressure, Eric Ten Hag can pull something out of the no, bag. That, 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 that's what I mean. So, you know, the, the problem with United now, you, you don't know what to expect. Mm. But like you say, when they, you know, they're against the wall, that's when they react. So... Yes, I'm, I'm positive because I'm a positive person, but we have to be careful and not playing too much with the fire because mm. uh, uh, especially even the, the last loss at home against Tottenham, yeah, it was really harsh to accept. We've been asking our viewers who they think is the best player in the Premier yeah, League at the moment. Yeah, you both get involved with this one. And um, it's because Jamie Carragher said that you know, he thinks Cole Palmer is one, like, one of the best players at the moment in the Premier League. Is there anyone that comes to mind for either of you? To be fair, he's the first one to come in mind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on, form, on form, you have to say Cole Palmer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. on form, I will definitely say yeah. Cole. So, Cole, by the way, I'm saying that because I want you to sign in the app. <laughs> so make sure you sign up in the app. <laughs> yeah, go on there. Well, how, how do they sign up to this app then, finally, Tommy? Let, let us know, the young players watching at home and, and, and so on. What, how do they get involved with, with player? Well, they can sign up today. Um, and essentially get on our wait list. We're shaping it around the elite academy ballers at the moment, and you know those who are still at academies, some who may have been released, um, and shaping it around that demographic. And then we're going to be... It's invite-only to begin with, but we're going to be expanding outwards, and then by early 2025, we're looking to open the floodgates and get all the way to the grassroots legends as well. Great. Well, I'm still playing in the Vets League, so I'm like, waiting for my invite. Okay? <laughs> more than welcome. Get me in, yeah, yeah. Get your stats up. <laughs> uh, get my stats if I don't do that. <laughs> um, guys, thank you so much for coming yeah, in. Absolute pleasure Tommy to have you on the show. Absolutely brilliant to see both of you. Good luck with it as well. And thank we you very much. And we hopefully see you again soon. Yeah.